Hi, this is Mary. Welcome to my channel, Mojo Designs. Today we're going to be creating a card using this adorable stamp set from Mama Elephant called Fly With Me. I absolutely love those elephants. Seriously, how cute are they? What can make you happier? I'm not sure. Maybe a donut? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those elephants are adorable. So here I'm applying clean, clear water to my background. I'm using watercolor paper from B Paper Company. It's 140 pound, cold press, 100% cotton rag. So what I was showing you there when I lifted up the watercolor paper was that there is a slight sheen on my paper. I don't have it dripping wet or super damp because I want to do a wet on wet technique. Here I am laying a very light layer of Amazonianite Genuine from Daniel Smith. By doing wet on wet, it assures me that my colors are going to dry back even more. That's just the nature of watercolor. Usually when watercolor dries, it, it dries back, meaning that the colors aren't as saturated. So by doing wet on wet, usually that means it's going to be even less saturated because you're already, you know, wetting the fibers of the paper and, the, and it's going to make it wick out more, make it a soft blend. Here I'm taking a, a damp brush and just softening some of those edges. So what I did was lay down a really quick wash of light color and then I went through and added some darker saturated color over the clouds. Here I'm making a rookie mistake. I know better. I really do. <laughs> so I'm all excited. I just want to get this painted. I'm making the video. I'm like, I can do this. I've done it many times. It doesn't matter if my cardstock is wet. My watercolor paper is wet. I am just going to color. I'm going to be super careful. Well, as you see, I wasn't as careful as, as I planned on being or thought I could be. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking clean, clear water and I'm wiping up as much, just patting. You never want to scrub. You're, I'm just patting the color off. Now I waited for it to dry. So now I'm taping it down because there's slight warping. So now I'm going to go back in with a really saturated version of Quinn Lilac from Daniel Smith. I absolutely love this color. It might be replacing my Quinn Magenta, which I've loved for many years, but this is just such a gorgeous color. The color of watercolors I'm using today are by various companies. They're all artist grade. You don't have to use artist grade. You can use like your Jane Davenport, your Prima, um, any, your Cotman colors. It doesn't really matter, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm using. So I'm using um, Indian Yellow from M. Graham. The blue balloon there is Cobalt Teal from Core. The elephants are going to be a mixture of Graphic Gray from Daniel Smith, which is a semi-transparent color. And I mix a touch of Indigo by Core into it. So um, it's a very cool gray. I could have used a Payne's Gray, but Payne's Gray is just a little too blue. It's still fairly cool, uh, but... Yeah, I just love this combination for my gray. So as you see, I lay down a little light wash and then I go back in with more saturated color on my brush, which means less water and more of the pigment for my shadows. And then the little pink that you see for the little blushies on the cheeks and the ears is a very um, watered down version of the Quinn Lilac. I think these elephants are just the cutest, like seriously. They make me so happy. I'm making this card for my granddaughter. So she lives in another state and in August she'll be two. And of course I think she's just the smartest little thing ever. So I bought this stamp set because at the time, because she always changes her phrases, what she's into. Um, so a few months ago, she was really into saying, oh, happy day. Like she'd just go around the house. They'd send me videos. She'd be like, happy day, happy day. Um, so that's why I bought this stamp set. And then at the end, I decided not to use the sentiment, oh, happy day. <laughs> so here I am using Wink of Stella and I'm not being shy not being shy whatsoever. I want the sparkle. I want the glitter. So I thought for sure I was just going to do the balloons. I'm like, yes, I'm just going to do the balloons. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to do the clouds too. I just can't help myself. 
The cardstock base is Paper Tray Ink Sweet Blush. I absolutely love Paper Tray Ink cardstock. When I started stamping, I you know, it's been many, many years, like 20 years. I first started out using Stampin' Up, and then once Paper Tray came onto the market, I've never used really anything else in the Paper Tray cardstock. Anyway, so the color is Sweet Blush. I was looking at using my favorite things, black and white paper. They have the diagonal and they have this, the stripe, our straight stripe, and I didn't want that. And I have this glitter paper because I need more glitter. It's for my granddaughter. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> I love the glitter and the sparkle. And I'm not wasting it. I'm not going to put the whole sheet on the back. I'm cutting it into strips. I made, I only have two sheets of the silver left. So I was really trying to use the colored glitter cardstock because I never use it. It's very rare. Uh, I'll use like the rose gold, gold, silver, champagne, maybe, uh, what is that? Gunmetal. Other than that, I don't use any of the other colored glitter cardstock. I need to, so I was trying and I didn't like it. So here I'm leaving like a sixteenth of a um, little bit of an edge and then like an eighth of an inch on the other edge and then I'm applying that to my card base. So now all we need to do is add the sentiment. I'm going to be using my favorite things, more essential sentiments. I absolutely love this line from my favorite things. This is the only one that I have, so I do want to get more. There, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use white cardstock or the watercolor paper. I ended up using the watercolor paper just because, obviously, it's the same color. The B Company watercolor paper is not as creamy in color as Arsh's, but it's not white either. So I picked the sentiment, I Miss Your Hugs. I'm going to stamp that with archival ink. Stamp that down and then I'm going to place it onto the card. I think I trim it so it's a little smaller. Just using my, my Fiskars paper trimmer. And I'm going to be playing around a little bit with the placement. First I started at the bottom. I ended up with the placement at the top. And the reason for that is once you read I Miss Your Hugs, then the balloons are kind of, the little elephants are kind of in a triangle. So it's a zigzag pattern. So then it brings your eye down so it feels like you're floating, you know, your eye knows that they're floating down from the sky. And there is my card. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it and I will see you next time. Please subscribe and like.